Hey, Day. Hello. What's up? What are we doing today? Well, we are going to go do a race. What? A race? A race. Your race. Steve Ilg's race. But I thought there was no racing allowed here. Yeah, there really kind of isn't. But we're doing something called a virtual race where it's on a day. And today's the day. Today's 5K, which I'm doing. Tomorrow's an 11K. And just people start at different times with their family throughout the day and just time themselves, like through watches or phone or whatever. And so, yeah, we're really nervous, but we're excited. And yeah. So you're nervous, so that means it must be working, right? Yeah, exactly. And where does this race take place? Like two blocks down there. It starts at, is it called Schneider Park? Yeah. Yeah, it starts there, and you touch a stone mon mon monument, English. And then you start your watch, and you run it, and then you touch it to finish. Well, let's so. quit talking and start racing. Let's do this thing. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Now, most of us have not been blessed with having a guru in our lives. Gu, ru, Sanskrit term means the slayer of darkness. And the darkness, in this case, relates to spiritual ignorance or avidya, as the yogis know. But now we're all at the feet of a very powerful guru, a slayer of spiritual darkness, of spiritual ignorance. And this guru has taken the form of a virus in order to transmit, in order to teach. Are we listening? Since most of us have never had the blessing of an incarnation by having a guru, personally, big blessing of my lifetime is I have. And thus, I want to share with you the important things that a new student must do when receiving a guru's teachings. Be quiet. Listen. Practice humility. Receive the transmission of the Guru. Then sit. Meditate on the teachings of the Guru. Then, having been thus transformed, engage the teachings, practice them to cultivate self and to serve others. This time is a very important portal to a uniquely transformative time for the two-legged species. Are we listening? Are we going to engage the teachings? Or are we still so unawakened that we want things to get back to normal? Worst thing that could happen because the normal two-legged activity upon our beautiful mother and beneath our beautiful father is not working. We're not listening. We're certainly not engaged practicing, are we? Pagosa Speaks. It's a book of regional poetry I wrote. 24 poems, I think, are in the book. This one was first published in the Climbing Art Magazine, 1988. And I feel like this poem kind of speaks to the genesis of our spiritual ignorance. 
that manifested in this amazing guru known as Corona. Most of us are not calm, neither outside, not inside, nor any or everywhere. Most of us refuse our invitation to this space place where sun lingers and is soft and within her angles there is love, serene and moving. But you start here. You feel the warm sky and the tangled trees and the silence which stills assorted ambitious thoughts. Um, I'm opening a very sweet letter from Kathleen Paxman, and so let's open it and see what it's about. Oh, well, on this side, there's a very sweet poem. Oh, that's very sweet. And there's another little letter on the other side. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I really appreciate it. And it looks like there's one more thing in here. Oh, wow, it's a CD of some sort. Ooh, we should play it. I'm excited. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Hey, Day. What's Hello. up? Hello. Um, I was just making a card for my friend Amara. Uh, she currently has cancer. And I think she's doing a lot better, and it's almost out of her now. But she had to go in for another session of chemotherapy, which I'm sure was very hard. So I made her a card with all the cats on it. It says, Dear Mara. And then I just wrote a little note to her. And then I drew this picture of her. And it's supposed to be the same one as that one. And so, yeah, it's my first time attempting to draw a realistic self-portrait. So, um, well, not self, but a realistic portrait of her. So I hope she likes it. So, yeah. And that's the back of the cards. Right here is a stone monument. <laughs> it marks the start finish of my holistic fitness virtual first ever race weekend here in Durango. Day one, I doing some warming up. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Legs feel good actually. Okay, so we're gonna continue our warm up and then uh, we're gonna hit the start button. And we have about 20 racers lined up. Great sponsored by Body Health, Sunrider. We got Tailwind on board. We got Zuber Fizz. We got VO sweat diverting bands we got a lot of good stuff going on trails 2000 and uh we're gonna have a good time yep. it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt real bad racer ready three two one Sean Meisner, what are we doing today? I'm doing uh, the Holistic Fitness uh, Virtual 5K, and then I'm going to uh, continue on to do the Salisner Series Half Marathon. So the first 5K will be up here in Test Tracks, and the last 16.1K will be over the Smelter and around Balloon. 
loop and then you come back. Finish here. You like to run far, don't you, son? I do like to run far. Can sir. we watch it start? Yes, I, I would be able to do it. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Daywa's mom, Joy Kilpatrick, known for her theater, crushing the 5K. Give it up for mommy. What do you think about your mom? I didn't expect her to be moving that quick. She ain't a snail today. Ladies and gentlemen, another mountain ass. Who are you? That's Caroline Tavik, Eastburn, you get done, Holistic Fitness 5K. Are you gonna do the 11K tomorrow? Yeah. Good luck, Godspeed, Nama. Yeah. For all those who can't, on my pet my own. How'd it go out there, Mama? Oh my God, it was gorgeous. <sighs> what do you think about your mama's effort out there? Oh, I'm so proud of her. Oh, thanks, baby. And Mama, you said you were dedicating your race effort to what? To all those who can't. And for those... She's gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, she said she's dedicating it to all those who can't run and that are suffering. So she's gonna run for them, those who can't. I had to find my balance. I wanted to give the race director, Mr. Coach Illick, and his assistant, Dewa Chen, some props for really marking that course so well. Flower. I could tell it was flower. I was following the flower crumbs. And not only that, the respectfulness on the actual trail. I didn't pass another runner, and there was only maybe a handful of cyclists, and they were appropriately keeping social distance. So. Great job, Durango. Blake Clan! myself the hardest in the hell in the past. Also, the last time I did a 5K was a snowshoe race with Daywa, and that was five years ago. So this is my first 5K in five years. Well, it's because of Coach. I wouldn't be doing all this stuff and then realizing that it's actually pretty fun. talking to? DP Eric Pearson. You just did the 11k course which we'll be racing tomorrow. You transposed it. You, how did that 11k course treat you? Yeah. It was a you know mix of concrete, little asphalt and then then some gnarly single track. That that uh, that downhill's loose, but it's it's doable. South Rib Tree South did, rib. Uh, did okay, huh? Yeah, I made it down on skate. Very nice. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for putting it together. Thank you, absolutely. <laughs> Good luck in the 5K tomorrow. Yeah, thanks. Nama. Nama. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin and Amber Blake. 
done. You got to touch. You got to touch. Woo! All right. How'd it go out there, you two? Yeah, it was good. What do you think, Austin? Good. Did you like the course? Uh -huh. What did you like most about it? The downhill. The downhill. Awesome. The marking. The marking. And who do we have down there? This is Coco. Coco, what do you think about the race? Good? Good. Yeah, so, she likes to try to eat the marking. Is it fun to be towing start lines? Heck yeah. All right. Woo! Hey, Brad. Are you ready to race? Yeah. All right. Talking with Coach Vote here. Getting yeah. ready. What's your goal today? Beat 30 minutes. Beat 30 so, minutes. And we'll are you pretty confident with that? I've uh, been training the past week and a half, so quarantine runs. Are you stoked for a beautiful run? It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, baby. Woo, 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 woo. Here we go. Here we go. Keep working. How'd it go, Demon Football? Not my goal, but I wasn't expecting oh, those hills. so close. Oh, woo, those there. hills were brutal. So you woo. liked the course, huh? That was good. Could have used a few more hills, right? Yeah. That I, first mile and a half were brutal. I am proud of you. How do you feel? Accomplished. Nice. That's what it's all about, baby. Namaste. Namaste. Woo! God bless everybody. See ya. I'm, uh, so it's Saturday, uh, Sunday, sorry. <clears throat> we raced the 5K yesterday. I'm feeling it, trying to keep up with day while yesterday. But it's a beautiful day. Won't be able to take any footage, um, but I am gonna see uh, Daywa and her mom up at the transition where I'm gonna change shoes. Um, and uh, yeah, we need to get this thing going. All right, 11K, a lot of vert. See ya. You're moving, you're doing so good. Your stuff is right over there. You got this, you got this. You... You're right here, you're right here. Great job. I was done. <laughs> you see anybody else come up? No. I didn't see anybody. Tailwind. Colorado Cola, caffeine. All right, you got this, Dad. Let us know when you get done. Is that open? I don't need Mama? No, I'll take you guys. Of course, love you. Have a good day. Bye. You upward, got this. Mwah, love you. Bye bye. Oh, oh, orale. Chi, chi, chingale. Orale, orale. Go fight, win. Woo! Max heart rate was 194, baby. <sighs> One hour, 12 minutes, and feel really solid. Great legs from yesterday, chasing Daywa down. Shout out, Day. Highlight was the 12 minute, over 1,000 vert descent from Hogsback Summit down the South Rim. We need some drone footage of that craziness. That was epic. Uh, Wow, what a great race weekend. And uh, yeah, more later. I'm, I'm, I'm gassed. Dude. Wow, shout out to everybody who raced my race. And uh, we'll go over the details a little bit later. Right now, I need to soak, baby. Namah.